Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Today, I'm back in the Twizzy, as you can see. A um, few of you will appreciate this. I've been asked for a lot more Twizzy videos, so here's one coming up. So today, I'm pretty excited. I've been invited to buy a Fully Charged Show, you know, the YouTube channel, massive YouTube channel that features electric cars and does all this sort of sustainable energy stuff. I've been invited by them to the first electric forecourt, which is basically like a big service station for electric cars. Um, so like a fuel station for electric cars and there's basically about 36 cars going up there I've been told and the Twizy is one of them they've allocated me a bay up there so that I can charge it it's a little bit further than the range that I've got available on this car to get there so I'm gonna have to charge probably maybe halfway just add a little have a little top up so today is gonna be that adventure and it'll be really exciting to see what's uh, what's in store as usual it's absolutely hacking it down with rain um, in the UK it's very damp I've got my heated seat on <laughs> and I've got my little foot blower on here as well. Uh, I've got full battery pretty much. It's really cold, um, so the range is showing about 23 miles, which should increase once I stick it in stick it in eco mode. Really could have picked a better day for this, couldn't they? generation EVs like the Twizy. It's virtually a motorcycle, but because there's no battery heating, it really does have a massive impact on the range when you when you have a cold battery. I'm hoping as we get going, um, as I, the more charges I do, and then obviously when I get to the destination I'll be charging as well, the battery should warm up, so we should see quite a big increase in range, I reckon. Obviously another thing that's not helping is the massive tyres that I've got on this. So it's not really set up for range at the moment, it's set up for more performance. Right, nearly there. There's a charge point behind me. I'm going to skip that one because that's at a Nissan garage. I'm going to try the one that doesn't require any logging or anything like that. Don't matter, I just want to use... It's in this Waitrose car park. There's the charge points over there. So, that's the ones. Looks like they're all clear as well. Pretty good. One's been used, left by Zoe there. God, it's a horrible day today. Disgusting. Here we go. Right guys, so we're at 30%, 30% battery. Not bad really. I think it's about 20 miles I've come so far, so I'm gonna whack this on charge. The town's over there, go and grab myself a coffee and stuff like that. And um, yeah, a couple of hours later, we should be bang on set for the, for the next little leg. Right, it's all charging. Right, almost ready for the next leg, 91%. I'm gonna leave it a little while, maybe get at least 95%. Still flipping raining, look at that. All right, let's um, put the old heated window on. Got the seated bum heater, <laughs> the heated bum seater, one of those ones. Let's get on the roads. Six miles to go. Do we go? This is the question. There's a few interesting looking cars here. Looks like I'm actually gonna get on the forecourt because somebody's parked in my slot so I can actually get plugged in on the other side. All right, let's get out and see what's going on then. There's a lot of electric motors. Oh look, there's a little um, Honda over there. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. See, this is the thing, guys, look. It's just Teslas everywhere. Who needs a Tesla when you got that? So what's happening here is quite interesting. Look, we've got loads of cars charging and everybody's chatting away. Is this gonna be a thing of the future? People are gonna actually have conversations 
at petrol pumps or charging pumps, whatever they're going to call them. This is cool though. I really do like this. And I did sort of like copy the Twizzy with the, um, when I'd done the headlights on the Twizzy, I sort of copied this with the um, sort of like halo design. Smart looking car. I just don't think it's quick enough. I just don't think it's fast enough. I've heard reports that it isn't quick enough. It's all the solar panels up the top. They move me now. Scan up for that torque now. Enjoy this day with us, even if it is it's pretty, pretty bad weather. Um, so, just a little introduction from me to say thank you to everybody for coming. Um, the Ford Block itself, as you probably already gathered, um, has a, a whole suite of, of facilities uh, that is not like anything else in the country. Um, so, we've got 36 chargers here, six Teslas, Tesla superchargers, six AC chargers up to 22 kilowatts, another 24 under the canopy, 12 of which are 90, and another, um, another 12 up to uh, 350 kilowatts, which we're all enjoying the benefits of. Hopefully, uh, present. Right, looks like they're gonna ask everybody to plug in. I'm already plugged in because I have to start my charging well ahead of everybody else because mine takes so long to charge. So I think there's 36 cars on it all plugging in, ready to charge. Crazy time. Stop raining. Twizzy is still charging as well. Ah, fifty-two percent. It's going to be a long, long afternoon. Right, back in the Twizzy. Ninety-five percent. It's a good day in there, or good afternoon. Now we start the journey back. Right, final bit of charging happening right now, and then. I'm going to be on the last leg, so that is like three charges so far. This thing needs a bigger battery if you're going to be doing this sort of thing. Five miles to go. And we're back. On 20%, which isn't bad. It's all in all. Oh, let's turn that windscreen wipe off. It's all in all a good day, it's a good chance to meet some fellow EV owners, some of the people that I've been talking to online and stuff like that. It's just good to get out to these things. Um, but next time, I think I'll be doing it in something with a little bit more range. <laughs> but saying that, there wasn't another Twizzy there, so, you know, there you go. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one, something different. I'll catch you in the next one.